Good morning, Internet. This is Alex da Sudokus, and it is Saturday, the 29th of May, 2021. And for any fellow Brits out there, we have a long weekend, so hooray, hurrah, we made it. For anyone who don't, um, it's still the weekend, so still worth celebrating. So, let me try and improve my posture and then start on today's New York Times Hard Sudoku. Let's have a look then. We have a pair of ones here. As usual, we are going to use Snyder Notations to work on this puzzle. I've got a pair of twos there, locking a two there, so that is just basic Sudoku. And... I think that's it for the twos. So on the Snyder notations, we are not going to pencil mark anything that has more than two candidates. Basically, we have a three over there, a pair of threes. So a pair of threes over there. And in fact, whilst we're there, I'm going to put in the nines as well. So three, three, three. Got another pair of threes there, and I think that's it for the threes. So why don't we have a look at the fours? Well, the reason we don't is because there are no information available to us. So I'm going to pencil mark in the fives. Another pair of fives. Actually, whilst we're here, let's do the sixes in this box. Five, five, five. Nothing else interesting with the fives. So can we do more of the sixes? Probably not. Sevens, eights, we have an eight up here because this eight affords us a pointing pair of eights. And another pair of eights over there. This eight forces a pointing set of eights. So we've just unlocked another eight here because column five and six are blocked. And I think that's it for the eights. So the eights were quite useful today. So well done, eight. Give yourself a pat on the back. The the nines are now available, although actually I think they have been available for pencil marking for some time now. And we have done ourselves a round of notations. Can we glean from that anything interesting? Do we have any weak areas we can attack? We have a 267 triple on this column two six and seven and we can't resolve anything we just have a seven there not very cash money we have a quadruple which is six seven well actually that means the sevens are over there so i should have spotted that sooner because this seven forces a pointing pair and since the sevens are locked on columns one and two in these two boxes on column three, it must be on a top box. So that's useful. And with that, we have ourselves a six and nine, no, six and two and six triple, not triple, pair in this, on this column, which is also restricted to this box. We like that. We do like those. And that leaves us a quadruple of five, seven, nine, and four, four, five, seven, nine. Okay. Anything else interesting here that we can look at? Alas, we haven't. Oh, does my title say help? I thought I changed it. Um. Hi, Jodas. Ju Judy Stefano, how are you, Stefano? Um, I have been doing these for some time, so I guess I am kind of like used to it. So that's not a problem at all. Um, I just need to check my information. So yeah, that's fine. But if you do spot anything, please feel free to chip in as well. Um, but yeah, it's okay. I just I'm just used to doing the New York Times, that's all. 
I hope you're well, and I hope um, I hope you enjoy Sudoku's, which is why you're here. I, was, I assume. Um, but yeah, I I'm hoping that my um, the reason I do my Sudoku videos is because um, I hope it offers some insights, um, at least with the latest stages of the puzzles, basically, because um, sometimes the New York Times Sudokus are quite tricky. Oh, thank you. <laughs> um, I do get a lot. Oh, thank you for the redeem. Kiss of the cat. Early morning red. Early morning red indeed. How are you? Not spoken to you for a few days. I feel like I'm out of sync with you guys. Um, are you guys not playing League this morning? Also, I've got blocked nose. And that's not cash money at all. No, no one's on the League channel. Oh, Rose is at work. What well, the rest of you can still play League. I was playing with Himbo. Himbo? Do I know Himbo? I'm not too sure. Um, okay, so. Oh, I don't. I think I've... I might have heard you mention Himbo before, so okay, let's um let's do another round of notations because we seem to have hit a dead end with the weak areas anyway. Yeah, we haven't got any, many more weak areas to attack. So we're just gonna do another scan from one to nine and see if we can spot anything. So let's try that. Ones, twos, two to two, threes. Can't really see any developments. I think we have ourselves an arrested development here. I was going to hit the, but actually, no. Even though I just did that, but um, yeah, I don't think calling this arrested development is not really a, not really a pun. I have a pair of sixes over there. Which I don't think is going to give me anything, but I do have a pair of sevens now as well. And the sevens are locked in these three cells. Is that useful? I feel like that's useful. Yes, it is. Because seven, eight, and nine is forming a triple here now. So if that's a seven, eight, if seven, eight, and nine are restricted to these three cells, that forms a triple. So, oops, whilst we had a three here before, it can no longer be that. Because if we have the three staying in this little um, cell, then we have seven, eight, and nine in two cells, and that is impossible. So that just resolved a three for us. So if we clean up the pencil markings, we've got another three over there, another three in the middle box, another three down here, because the columns five and six are blocked, and row six, no, row seven is also blocked. So all the threes are now available. And in this box, with the triple, we only have a single number left, which was a five. And that five releases a five from exile, giving me another pair of fives there. So we have the same situation. Five and nine are restricted to two cells. And if that's the case, the seven can't go there, or we have five and nine in a single cell. So that releases another seven. I want to come back here for a second to see if the five does anything else. And I quickly find that it doesn't. So let's carry on over here. Uh, we now have six and two in these two cells, and they are arranged as such because of the two over there. So that gives me a pair of twos here, a pair of sixes up top because of that six and that six, but also the row is now restricted with the six. So this is seven and nine, nope, the nine and the eight are visible. So this is a seven, eight, nine triple on the row, but I see eight and nine in this cell. So it has to be a seven. So that unlocks the seven, restricting them to row three there. And we're now left with eight and nine on the row, but nine can only go here. Eight, oops, eight can only go there. So we are quickly, quickly surmising where the remaining numbers go. Um, two, seven and four. Forming a triple here. Nope. Seven doesn't go there anyway. So it's two, four. Two, four, nine. So nine doesn't go there. But fours can go everywhere. So I do like to pencil mark in triples in boxes when they appear. 
which is why I did it earlier with the 7, 8, and 9. But uh, we're going to stop. Um, but yeah, in this case, we had a triple in a box as well. So that's why I pencil marked them in. Um, have we run our Steam? We may have run our Steam. And if we have, we're going to have a sad time. But luckily, this 7 and that 7 forces a pointing pair of 7s over there which unlocks another seven because seven can't be on column one and it can't be on row eight, uh, seven or eight. So that's a restriction. Um, any other restrictions? Because I would like some of those, please. I would like one restriction, please. And whilst I look for that, I'm going to get myself a bit of tissue. I'm going to move to myself. Except, of course, you didn't hear the last part because I have to unmill first. Um, in this box, we've got a 5-9 pair and a 2-6 pair, which means we have a number here. It is a 4. So similar logic. Any numbers other than 2 and 6 can't go there. 5 and 9, um, any, other, any numbers other than 5 and 9 couldn't go there. So the 4 is naturally locked in there, which gives me a pair of 4s there because the 4s are also pointing here. This also gives me a pair of fours, but they're not pointing anywhere. Um, I only consider something pointing if they um, reveals, potentially reviews another number, but um, they're pointing up to the area that I've already got fours. Also, the two couldn't go there, so I didn't clean up the pencil markings. So the two goes here, and that gives me an eight. So that gives me another pair of eights over there. Probably not useful yet. But I do have a one on the column. And the one on the column, surprisingly, doesn't give me anything. So why don't we look at this pair of fours and sixes and retreat because I can't get anything from it. Disappointing, much disappointed. But we do have a pair of four and six here as well. Um, so four and six, four and six. Are there more four and six? I wonder. For example, here. We're missing four, five, six, and one. Okay, so this is one, four, and six then, because it only sees a five. I've got one, four, and six there. So that means there has to be a five on this row, because I'm looking for one, four, five, and six. And I've got one, four, and six eliminated from column nine. That gives me a pair, oops, a pair of fives over there. These are now 1, 4, and 6. Alas, we can't figure out what they are. This is 1 and 4. This is 1, 4, and 6 still. And I don't think the 9 is restricted from this cell. It isn't. Okay. I guess we need to do some more homework. Um, 4 and 6, 4 and 6, 4, 6, 8, and 1. 1, 4, 6, and 8. So, again, can't glean anything from that. How disappointing. Uh, 7, 8, 9 over here. Is that resolvable? It is not. No, sad time. 4, 5, 7, and 1. So the ones are giving us a bit of a headache at the moment. Um, I'm just going to scan the puzzle again, at least for the numbers that are useful to us. So one, two, three. I don't know why I say numbers that are useful. I'm scanning everything basically. So um, four, five. Oh hi, um, Gus Gazergo. You love Sudoku. I love Sudoku as well. Who doesn't love Sudokus? Uh, I can probably name a few people actually, so that is not a good statement to have made. But um, I think everyone should love Sudokus. Oh, we have a pair of sevens over there. Accidentally putting the actual numbers rather than the pencil markings. That was not very cash money of me. Um, for one, this is me. That's not being cash money. Um, how are you today? Do you play variant Sudokus as well? That's something I feel like I should start doing soon. Oh, wow. 
Oh, wow. That's it. We've done another scan and we haven't actually revealed any more numbers. So this is four and five because it's four, five, nine, triple here. We need to look out on the rows and the columns now, I think. And I wonder if there are any hidden secrets like there being a two, six pair in these two cells. And the reason I found that is because I was looking at any cells with um, two candidates and I was scanning them. So since the two, six are on a column, I scanned horizontally. I started with that and I can see that the two and six are in this box. So there are no twos and sixes in any of these cells. So I want some restrictions where well, I can restrict two and six from here because this is a five and nine and two and six are, two and six are restricted from there. So this is a two, six matching pair, leaving me five, eight, nine, one, five, eight, and nine. So let's see if that's useful. One, five, eight, and nine. I've got eight and nine here. Restrict it from here. Hmm. Five, one. One can't be here. In fact, that means, yeah, if these are twos and six, that means I have a pointer pair of ones here. That is useful because we had ones free roaming in these three cells before, but now we have ones free roaming in these four cells before as well. But since there's a two, six pair there, it blocks the one from this cell. And suddenly on this row, the ones can only be in these two cells. The question is, is that actually useful for us? Um, I guess it eliminates the one from there as well. So now we have this one, four, five, and seven. One can't go there, but one can still be here. One, five. So this is still one and four. So it's not much of a revelation, really. One, four, and six. So yeah, that's still one and four. So no revelation on that front, but I think if I look at this box, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. So everything is pencil marked in. That means this is a naked four, basically. So that is useful. So if the naked four, we are going to surmise that the fours are here as well, which unlocks a four down here because this can no longer be a four. It has to be a six. And with that six, We're going to punch some, oops, well, not with the six, with the fours. We're going to punch some holes in the puzzle by unlocking the 249 triple, which naturally resolved when, once we eliminated the four or once we placed the four, nine now goes here, which means it's resolved over here, which means the eight is resolved, which means the one is resolved, which means the five is resolved, which means the seven is resolved. That resolved the seven and four down there. And we've got eight and one, which are like so, because I've got a one looking into this cell. So now one, one, six are resolved. And five, five is here, leaving me a six. And I guess it's a six on this row as well. And then that's two and six resolved, giving me a two, one and five and five and nine. The four and six has been resolved. And that is today's New York Times hard Sudoku. I hope that was useful. Um, if it was and you are on the YouTubes.com, um, please leave a like and possibly a comment below to say, yay, perhaps. Thank you, Stefano. That is a very exciting reaction. Thank you very much. Um, but for the rest of us, oh, also anyone on YouTube, um, if you like Sudokus, I do solve them on a daily basis. And um, yeah, please leave me a subscribe, smash the comment and leave a subscribe. That's what the kids say. That's definitely what a kid says. Um, hi, the Cesar, the Cesar, 
and you you get used to it if you do enough um new york times sudokus i'm definitely on a slow side when compared to like people who are actually good at sudokus basically um but yeah i hope you, you guys enjoy that um should i do a medium sudoku as well oh i thought i didn't save my progress there for a second um if you want i can do a medium sudoku with no pencil markings or at least try and you see that I am actually quite slow. Um, let's give that a try. Let's give that a try. So I'm going to use Snyder notations again, but now I have to do some remembering of things. And uh, for any regulars on my stream, people know that I'm bad at remembering things. Because if there's one thing I do remember is to tell people that I'm bad at remembering things. So I'm like Leonard in Memento. Very good film. And we have a four here. That was the first thing that I spotted, but I haven't spotted anything else. I've got fives here, five, 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 six are locked in here, which means they're locked in here as well. Seven. Wow. Wow. I need to get an Owen Wilson wow soundboard because, okay, eight is on his own. So there's a chance there's a naked single. One, two, three four, five, oops, five, can't see a six, seven, gone eight and nine. So this is six and seven, not useful. So are there anywhere else that we may have a naked single with the eight? I'm pressing X of doubt here because I, I can't see any, anything. Uh, four in the bottom right corner of the middle right box. Oh yes, there's a four here. Because this four and that four forces a pointing pair. And uh, I guess, yeah, that's the trouble. I glimpsed a pair of fours there before and I didn't go back to it once the four was in place. So thank you for that. See, you are fast. You're faster than me and found us a four. And we like that. Uh, does a four unlock anything for us? That leaves a one, seven, eight, and nine. It's no good for us. And on the roll, we're missing two, five, seven, and eight. Two, five, seven, and eight. Seven are restricted to these cells, but. So I guess this is, oh, hang on. This is two, seven, and eight. So this must be a five on the roll then. Um, so I guess that's our naked single. It wasn't at the bottom, wherefore there were more numbers. Once the four was in place, actually no, even before the four was in place, this five has been there the whole time. The five was in us all along. Who would have thought? Who would have thought, eh? Uh, the five doesn't give anything for itself, but does it give us resolutions elsewhere? We're missing two, seven, and eight, which means that seven goes there and twos and eights are locked in here. Yes, the five was a naked single near us. <laughs> Good morning, Emily. How are you? How are you? Hope you're having a good morning or hold on. Is it evening for you? I'm still really bad at time zones for everyone. I had a weird feeling that you are on similar time zones than me, but then I think something you said yesterday, which I may have remembered. <gasps> Alexia, remember something. Who would have thought? Who would have thought? Um, that made me think um, you're actually not in a in a similar region as I am. I'm glad you're doing well. You're always doing well because there's one thing I remember, which is your kind of like endless positivity, which you said you try hard to to do. Basically, try, try hard to keep a positive, keep positive thinking. I think it's something like that. It is night for you, so yes, I did remember it correctly. Something, which is that um, it is night-ish time for you. So. Oh, same time for you as well, Stefano. Um, hmm. We're a little bit stuck here. Oh, no, we're not. We have a one over there now that the seven is in place. So this is a pair of eight and nine, which is great. Because now we have more than one eight, thanks to the nine. So can we do more? Maybe with the eight? Eights are now locked in those cells. The twos are not. Threes are locked in those cells. So this is two, three, eight, two, three, eight, and six. So I've got three, six 
over there because that's a two and eight. But I know it's morning for you, so I always say, give me, oh, thank you. That's probably why I thought, that's probably why I thought incorrectly that you were in a similar time zone as me. So bless you. Bless you. I've got one over there. Thanks to these two ones and that one over there. So the ones are locked in these two cells. Not super useful. A bit sad, actually, that we still haven't glimpsed anything. Um, I still don't think we have um, make a single down here. But these are 6, 7, 9, and 3. 3, 6. 3, 6, 7, and 9. Okay. So this is 3 and 6. This is 6, 7, and 9. This is 3, 7, and 9. And this is 6 and 7. So we haven't got anything useful. Um, let's see if we can find anything else then. And try and sit in a posture that doesn't give continue to give us um bad back because that's what i've got i've got a bad back at the moment due to the way i bought a new office chair um thinking if i get a chair without a back it would be better for my streams bigger mistake of my life i've been having um a sore back for the last few days and um and yeah do not recommend. I do not recommend. Not that I don't recommend um, getting a decent office chair. Good office chairs are great, but I think even if you try it out, even if you try out office chairs, unless you, you sit in them for a while, you're not going to know if they're actually any good for you because um, they may just not fit your your way of um, postures, basically. So um, I ripped my back. Yeah, ripped my back indeed. It's a sad time. It is a sad time. Right. I have a feeling this is a naked single. And I'll tell you why. Because I've got four numbers there, three numbers. Oh, no. How can I have a naked single if I only see seven numbers? So there are two numbers left, which are one and... One and seven. Okay, one and seven are locked in there. One and seven can't go there. Can go here, though, so... Hmm. Okay, let's have a look at this box. Nope, nothing here. I like these new bother. I'm trying new things out because um, I decided um, if I'm not going to be able to get a lower back chair um, and the chair is going to flick in and out of existence when I use my NVIDIA cam, which is no longer working anyway. Oh, hello. Hello, this is interesting. This is interesting. Hey, if this works, it would be highly impressive. Wait a second. Wait a second. Let me see. Let me see. Oops, sorry. Webcam scene. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, no. Oh, no. Nope, that's the wrong one. <gasps> no. Yep, that didn't work. That did not work. I got overly excited there for a second, thinking that um, I could have both my NVIDIA webcam and the new webcam on because I'm using a new way of um, presenting them. But no, um, yeah, I'm trying to... No, don't, don't say that. First of all, try not to say dumb because um, that word, as it turns out, is ableist because um, it's originally used to describe people who have um, difficulty speaking for whatever reason, um, usually due to mental capacity issues. So, um, yeah, but it could be like everything. It could be because someone is autistic. It could be someone has um, other issues. So, yeah, I try and... I try to cut it out of my vocabulary nowadays. Um, but I know it's hard, so don't worry if you do say it. Um, no, don't apologize at all. I am bringing new... I'm kind of like trying to encourage others to not use it, basically. So, um, and I know you're a good egg. So, it is just something that if you feel... I think it's one of those things, like, if you feel you want to um, cut it out because you don't want to be ableist um, without realising it, then by all means cut it out. But 
um, I wouldn't stress too much either if you if you're not too bothered about it because the other way of looking at it is like it's so commonly used that um, it's almost like um, it's no longer intended it's no, no longer used as an ableist word the way it used to be but it doesn't change the origin of the word which means it is ableist and um, so I'm I'm definitely trying but um, don't you know don't feel bad if you if you have been using it or if you um, like use it accidentally so one thing I glimmed just now is that three and eight are locked in those two cells so that leaves me what does that leave me six and six and nine so I've got pointing sixes and nines which I think we're gonna find not very useful so I've got nines in these two cells Hmm. I don't think that's useful. It is not. It won't be hard to get up. Oh, no problems at all. Um, I have my wife to thank for that as well, because I didn't know it. But she's very on top of things. She's the one who's kind of like ahead of the curve when it comes to trans rights. I mean, can I accept the trans rights in general? Because I, for a long time, but... um. But she particularly learned a lot about trans issues before it kind of entered the public consciousness. And um, and it actually helped me realize that I was trans in the first place, which was unbelievable. So three and eight, um, six and nine. So if those are six and nine, I'm left with ones, um, one, four and seven. Well, that's a such time because I've got one here a four here oops four here and a seven there <laughs> but there are no overlaps so i can't actually solve any numbers so i guess this is one in seven are there restrictions for the one in seven no that isn't one in four nope and four in seven can't go there can't go there can go in these cells as well as these so there are four cells for the four and seven to go so that wasn't useful. One could say that it's a disappointing time. Um, so I think I need to explore the rows and columns a little bit. Let's see. We have... What are we missing here on this row? We're missing 2, 3, 4, 6 and 8. 2, 3, 4, 6 and 8. I think that's too many numbers. In this box, we're missing 2, 3, 5 and... Two, three, five, and six. Three, five, and six are there, so surely that's a two. Because I'm missing two, three, five, and six. Two, three, five, and six in the box. Yeah, so that's a two, which resolves this eight. That's a good time. So I wonder if there could have been another way. Oh, yeah. Hold on. Yeah, the eight would have resolved the eight there anyway. So... Okay, we've got some movements now. This is now two, three, and six. Still can't solve that. This is now three, five, and six. Literally can't see anything with that. Um, so we resolved the two and the eight. So that means that's a two. Don't think we can do more of the two. So what about the eight? Eight are up here, down here. Nope. No revelations there. So does this two do anything new? And I'm going to have a sip of water whilst we continue. Oh, that was a particularly refreshing glass of water there. Um, Let's see. Well, one is locked in here because of these ones. Um... Fours are locked in here. One, two, three, four, fives are now pointing. So fives are here as well, which is also not useful. Eight and nine. Oh, these are fives and nine. So these are eight and four and eight, which means four is there and eight is there because of the five and nine pair. So those being five and nine, nines are locked in these two cells. Not useful. So five and nine, leaving me with three, six and eight. 
three and eights there, so that's a six. Uh, eight can't go there, so this is an eight, and that is a three. So five and nine left. Brilliant. So we've got more numbers to play with now. We like playing with numbers. So we have a three over there, resolved. Pair of threes there. Not much more to say about that. And that leaves me twos and two and six. And you still can't solve them. Um, these are, hold on, I should be able to resolve these now because these were three and eight and that was six and nine. Brilliant. So. These are, what were they again? Five and nine. And these are five and five and six. Okay. My fatigue is getting the best of me for a second there because I stayed up late a little bit. I think I was hanging on people's streams and um, yeah, streaming Twitch has kind of taken over my life. I'm not sure if it's a good thing or not because I don't think I'm going to be able to make a middle, make a living out of, out of Twitch. Um, and um, and I'm like pouring all my all my time in it. So, but I do enjoy it, which is the most important thing. And do you know why I enjoy it? Because of you guys. So you guys are the MP3s. Thank you very much. Do I have anything? Thank yes, you. I do have. I do have you guys to thank. Thank you for keeping keeping me company. And I want to hear. I'm going to play it again because. Thank you. Yeah, I like I like the I like the turret sound. I think I'm going to have a look this weekend to see what other turret sounds I can use. But meanwhile, we have a seven and oh god, damn it, six and seven. So six, seven, and nine on this column. That is a really such time. But six and seven are locked in these two cells. So let's bear that in mind. That may be useful. Oh, thank you, Emily. Six and seven. Meaning threes are here. Five. Nines. Six and seven. Eight. Fours. Mm. One, two, three. These are three and eights. Okay, so I've got three and eight, six and nine. So, sorry, six and seven, three and eight. So this is a triple of five. Oh, that means there's a pointing five there on these two cells. Um, three, eight, six, seven leaves me four. So the four has to go there because of this four and that four. Um, nine. So that leaves me nine and what else is missing? Five and nine, I think. Three and eight, six and seven. Yep. Five and nine remaining because of that five. So yeah, there we go. So this nine resolve a nine over there and a five over here. So any more things we can resolve? Have I ever played nonograms? Nonograms. Let's have a look. Probably not. I don't recognize the name. Nonograms. Oh, yes, I have. Yes, I have. I think um, on the on the Wii, or was it? No, it was like someone's. Um, someone had a. I think my cousin had um. What were those things? Nintendo DS, or was it before the DS? When they have like a flip screen, and you can draw on one of them. And um, and I think it was called Picross, because I think they also released on the Switch. And um, yes, I do love them. I do love them. I need to see if they are like free ones that I can play online, because um, because you can literally just like draw a picture, and then um, the computer can handle the rest. So yeah, I should look into those. And um, what have we got left here? Actually, let's look at a column, because I think I couldn't deduce it from. Oh, it's six and. It's two and six. It's better in mind. So this this is two six and two six and nine. Oh, that's a really sad time. That is disappointing because like at least we know the nines are locked in those cells. Two and six. And I guess these are six and five and six. 
yeah, there are no, there are no revelations going on. And on this column, we have six and seven, which again, cannot be resolved just yet. There are, so why don't we do some later? Because I it's a Saturday, so I can hang around a bit more. And um, yeah, let's do some, let's do some nonograms in a bit. I like that they come nonograms, like no, 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 gram. Grandma saying no, 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 no. Um, two, six, and two, six, and five on this row. And I know this is two and six. This can't be a two, so oh yeah, that's five and six, and this is six, so that's two and five. God damn you, God damn you, Sudoku. Sometimes you do be a bit of a knob. A bit of a nubbly head. So let me um, give a permit. Um, so if you want to share um, a link for any online free nonograms, I shall have a look. Um, on this row we have six, eight and three. Three, six and eight. In this row we have one, one, three, seven, and eight. So it's one and eight. I don't think that's useful. I need to scan the numbers again. Again, I think so. Ones, twos, two, 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 threes. Fours. Oh yeah, we've got four here. Oh, sorry about that. Yeah, the fours were locked, so could have deduced the four sooner than that. So that leaves me one and one and seven. So one has the oops, one has to go here. Seven goes there because that's seven. So this one eight pair down here. No, where was the one and eight? I think it was here. I think this was a one and eight. Because it's one, eight, three, and seven. I've got one, three, and seven now, so that unlocks an eight, which means this is an eight. And I think that's all I can see with the eight. So the eight resolved. I think the three also resolves. That resolves another oops, another three, another three. So all the threes are now done. Awesome blossom. Yay, let's have a look. Let's have a look at them. Oh, you've got another one as well. Got two nanogram, two for one. Thank you, Stefano. That is very kind of you. Uh, I've got a seven here now, and a seven over there, and a seven over here, which resolves the six. Uh, six is over here, and this is a one, one. So yeah, I think um, we are home dry with this puzzle. I just need to know where to look. Two and six um, are still being a bit stubborn, actually. But we have another matching pair here, which are six and eight. So that's good because we have an eight in place. So is that all the eights? Not yet, it's not. Now it is. Now it's over. What was that English football thing? They, th they think it's over. It is now. And it's just like people are obsessed with that quote in the UK. At least like football fans anyway. So these are twos and fives. Um, and yeah, there are a lot of football fans in the UK. Oh no, that's not a five. Uh, this is a six though. It was six and two, which means that's a two and that's a two. So what have we got left? Um, we have five, six and six and nine, uh, which means nine and six over there, and these are fours and nines, I guess. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, I made a mistake. I made a mistake at some point and I didn't realize it. How bad is it? What's the damage? What is the damage? I bet it's the twos. Um, twos are looking fine. They're looking fine today. Twos, threes, fours. Fives. Genuinely not seeing where the mistake is has been made. Uh six. <laughs> oh 
I'm pretty sure it's not, but what did I say? It was a two. It was a two that I messed up. That is actually a six. And that is today's New, New York Times Medium Sudoku with no pencil markings. If you're still here on YouTube, wow. Thank you for hanging out. And um, yeah, sorry, I've not been doing the Medium Sudokus in a while, but I just feel like the time works out better if I do the mini crosswords in general. So let's pivot and do some mini crosswords. And then we're going to do some, do A, spelling B, and then move on to some nonograms. That'll be exciting. Pride initials are LGBT. Um, I like how pride has just kind of like been seen as LGBT. Strange and spooky is scary, I guess. We'll come back to that. Something style, secret way of ordering burgers. Oh, by the way, going to put in the no back seating for the crosswords for now. Um, Something style, secret way, way of ordering burgers and fries and in and out. I wouldn't know. Um, Roger with 20 Grand Slam titles. Oh, my God. Picture type that Oxford Dictionary named is Word of the Year in 2013. <coughs> picture type. What kind of picture type are there? I'm very curious about that. Hollande Hollandaise or I'm guessing this is sauce because I think Hollandaise is a sauce. And um, be maze? Pleased. Pleased. Well, it's in past tense, so something to think about. Symbol on the Canadian flag. Leave. I was thinking that's a maple, but it's maple leaf. Trait carriers are jeans. Subject on reality TV's say yes to the dress would be bright, I guess. Uh, streamer's delay would be latency. Mm, streamer's delay. That is interesting. I feel a bit called out here. I feel like I'm being called out. Sharp scolding. That would be some sort of burned. Uh, high end camera brand with a C. Well, it's not Canon or Nikon. Uh, it's not Sony. High end. That makes me think of like Hustle Play, but they make medium formats. Wow, there's actually. There's actually a camera brand I don't know about by the look of it. Or oh, I'm just very useless at remembering things. A thin marsh plant. When I think marsh, I think... Oh, is it algae? I don't think that's how you spell algae. So maybe it's not sauce. I'm pretty sure algae is um, five letters. So this is eerie. Uh, something sort of secret way. Well, this is making me think animal style. So I'm going to try animal. Roger. Frederick, I guess. Roger. Guess he's a tennis player. Uh, picture type. Word of the year. Hmm. So streamers did. Is that time lag? Oh, so this would be selfie. So ear full. And I guess this is glad. No. Pleased. Can't be glee. Doesn't feel right. So this looks. Oh, hold on. I think Leica makes lenses, but I think it's EI. So maybe this is glad. But something's not right here. So selfie's correct, but I feel like Frederick. Is incorrect. Earful. Hmm. Hmm. I'm going to turn off my back seating because um, this is the only one I think could be wrong. So, Feder. Thin Marsh. 
plant. Can't be weed. Um, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, read? Oh! Oh, Federer. Federer Roger. Fred. Oh, no, no. Spell it wrong. Federer Roger. Oh, I recognize his face. That is a face I do recognize. Isn't he like a really nice guy? I'm sure I've seen videos of him like being really nice to people who kind of like, looked after his um, equipment. But I'm not too sure. I don't follow tennis. It's a kind of middle class, upper middle class kind of sports, isn't it? Birthday purchase. I'm guessing a cake. Z sound is snoring. Namely, knock the socks off. Impress. Demographic cohort after millennials would be Gen Z, I want to say. A garden pest in the Harry Potter books. Gnomes? No. Desm what the hell? Hair problem caused by humidity. Frizz. Oh, so it's not cake. Because I think this is frizz. So what the hell do you buy for birthday? There's an F in it. French for head. Why are there why are there French crosswords? Why are there French words in my New York Times English crossword? Uh dear head would be a sorry, dear dad would be a stag. Namely knock the socks off. Amaze. Um so this is a gnome then. Oh no, gnome is spelled with G, so Hmm. Actually, I'm gonna So thank you for, thank you for asking. I'm just I'm actually gonna pause the input for a second, because I may be able to do this. I may be able to do this actually. So gift is birthday. French for head, I don't know. I don't know that one. Namely to something namely no nope, i think um yes please go ahead and give answer because i think um i think i'm stuck i think um oh i won so to Thank you. Oh my God, that was a loud, loud sneeze. I'm glad I have a mute button. So, Iwan Desmond. Okay. I have no idea what that is. Oh, De Desmond's residence. Yes, that makes sense, actually. So, I'm guessing, is that like a place then? Iowa Desmond's, presumably. That's how you spell it. Ooh, fancy. It looks like Las Vegas. La Vegas. Desmonds. Iowa. There we go. Wow, Canada Canada looks huge in on this map. But like all these all these are stretched out. They should be a lot skinnier, so Oops. Uh nothing in Iowa is fancy. Oh, I thought that was quite I thought that was quite quite cool. So, namely, to oh, what's with the self-deprecation? Be proud, uh, unless you guys are not from Iowa and you guys are mocking Iowa. <laughs> uh, A B C D E F G H I J K L um, to win. No, that doesn't make sense. O P Q R S T U V W X Y Z. I I don't know. Have I have I made a mistake? I haven't. So we're just gonna we're just gonna go through the alphabet. It's a T. T. 
tow it, I guess. Or to wit. What? To wit. To wit. Example, namely. Oh, so apparently to wit is literally namely. Learn something new every day, but of course I am going to forget that promptly. So let's try today's spelling bee pengram. So we're going to see a grit in a second. And we need to... Um, what's the word I'm looking for? I'm drawing a blank here. We need to form words with letters that we see on the screen. Now normally, if you pay for a subscription... In fact, I may pay for the New York Times subscription after... I get the paid out, pay out because um, I think I have enough money now. Although I have been told I should wait a few months before taking the payout. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Um, so that we can play more spelling bees. But then I wouldn't have time to do it on the morning anyway. So we'll see. We'll figure it out later. But um, we can... What's the word I'm looking for? We can do the pangram, which is... Um, we're going to try and get the word that uses up all the letters um, but a key thing is this is kind of like Scrabble but your tiles are magic your tiles are magic because you can repeat the letters but the rule here is we're gonna find the word that uses all the letters and um, but the letters can repeat themselves so let's see if we can find it Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. That's a lot of vowels. So there are lots of opportunities here. Um... So vote uses four of the letters. Um, we want to we want to find the the pangram basically. We want to focus on the pangram and get the word that um, because basically by not paying by not subscribing to New York Times games, um, I run out of attempts. Voltage, oh, you've got it. Well done, Gazer, um, Gazer, <clears throat> By the way, am I am I saying your name right? We have a winner, Gazergo. You are the winner today. Here's my. I, I haven't got any cookies or any like rewards that I can give. So that is today's. This is my report to you for being the MPV. So, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Oh, I'm getting right, Gazergo. Awesome, awesome, blossom. So, so now we can do things like, um, other words. I'm guessing this is a get famous by followers and then get no views from your followers and it probably messes up the algorithms and therefore you end up getting less recommended to your followers and therefore get no views at all. Yeah, I'm sure that's a good idea. Because didn't they do that with like Facebook and YouTube? You can When people start buying followers, it actually messed up people's performance because it looked like the followers are not actually watching the videos or content so they send them out less to the actual followers so don't do that now let's have a play at nanograms that one 